Hey guys, this is Jordi from Forward 3D Printing. Today I want to talk to you about how to set the current in your stepper drivers. It's a beautiful day out here in Texas, that's why I'm outside. But we need to go inside and I can show you in the bench. Let's go! So, I got all my stuff set up, but first, the more you know. This is a DRV8825, this is an A4988 driver. These are the most common stepper drivers you're going to find that and about. This one being the most common of the two, that's why I'm teaching you with this one. However, I do want to cover a couple of differences if you're installing in this board, for example. If you're installing the A4988 and you want to know where the position of the potentiometer should be, it should be away from the power. If you're installing the 8825, the potentiometer should be towards the power. If you are measuring voltage, 5 volts provided by the USB is sufficient to measure the A4988. For the DRV8825, um, you need the full load of your power supply to your board. In this particular case, 12 volts. So I need 12 volts going to these to measure what I'm going to measure here with a voltage from a power supply. And last but not least, when you're dialing the power, when you're going up and down on your dial, your potentiometer, if you dial it on the A4988, Clockwise, the voltage goes up, and if you do it on the DRV8825 clockwise, the voltage goes down. So those are a couple of the differences that you might want to be aware of, specifically, again, as I said, because these are the most common ones, but that's why we went with that one. The more you know. Moving on. So I want you to take the black lead of your multimeter, and I want you to place it right here against the USB casing. I want you to take the red one and put it on the center of the potentiometer. You're going to get a reading. In this case, it's 1.05 volts. Okay? Now, all motors are not the same. Every manufacturer makes their motors to their own specifications. Usually, they send you a data sheet for you to be able to know these numbers. Usually, that's where the numbers that you get out to get your calculation of how much voltage the motor needs to be running out of the driver. My motors run about 0.76 the best. They're one-time motors. I love them, but that's what they do the best. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and dial this down. As I said before, remember, on these drivers, it's counterclockwise. It's how you dial it down. So I'm going to go ahead and give it a quarter of a turn and see where I am. It's 0.62. So I know that I passed it. So now all I have to do is go up a little bit until I get to where I need to be and I keep on measuring. So small adjustments now. So here we go. 7-1. Now, that's close enough. It was just again, just to show you. If I was running it to my motors, yes, it will be 0.76, but right now it was just for an example. Either way, I'll see you here in a second. Well, I hope you learned something. But before I signed off, I wanted to talk to you about these ones. This is a TMC2100, it's what we call a silent stepper driver. So again, it, when you measure the pot, the potentiometer should be also in the position of the DRV8825, so towards the power. And also, you need to be really careful with this. Make sure that you remove all the jumpers. I know it sounds strange, but that's what you need to do. So with that being said, remember, whatever you do, do what is working for the Lord, not for men. Keep on 3D printing. See you out there.